need to talk to you. About? Uma, gonna take him with me. Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Thing is, he ain't here. Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But that'd be an error, a mortal one. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. What do you seek here, Vig? Taking Uma. There ain't a. Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back, though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know. Catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses. Huh? <laughs> that one of your Witcher games. Witcher version's different. Don't make me show you. Open the door now. Here's Roach. She'll take us to Care Morton. Well, come on. What the? Quit playing around. Let's go. <sighs> Looks like we got company. Elf Guardian Battle Mounts. What do you want? The Emperor's displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way. And the third army will sweep in from the west to take Ban Li. If I may, your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Ban Glin consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. As you wish, Your Majesty. 
Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this monstrosity? I hope you have more to say for your sake. Listen, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task, I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. I pursued those leads you gave me. Siri first reappeared in Skellige with a mage, an elf. Yen knows more. The Wild Hunt tracked them down, found them there. They were forced to flee to Velen. Where they were separated. Siri spent some time with a local warlord, a self-styled baron who... Yes, yes, I know my vassals. ...who helped her get to Novigrad, where Siri crossed some of the city's underworld bosses. She had to flee, went back to Skellige, ran into her elf companion there. And into the Wild Hunt, again. Siri and the elf fled, out to sea this time. Their boat returned to shore the next day, with only him on board. Hmm. The information appears of little use, though at least it seems you kept busy. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse. Someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries, but to lift it, I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that. Raphael Elen, Kedmil Fali, Vladiv Dorn Eptened, Bandro Ithne Iakas. Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I, I believe I can. But I must. The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Wouldn't count on that happening. That was no request, it was an order, Geralt. And I advise you well, do not disobey me. This audience is over, till the next. So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here, probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse, so he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialist on dark spells, to the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morhen. Oh, 
tales this close to the fortress? Someone's been slacking off. Quite a while. Too long. And your journey, how was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. Passenger got a little restless. Mm. What have we here? Multiple deformities, eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair, lip, and is this? <laughs> now, now, calm down. Jennifer was right on one count. Things sure isn't pretty. Yen's here already. And how? Huh. You two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a, well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in, not even a nice to see you, jumps right into a we've a curse to live, there's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. And she went to the guest room to rearrange things through the bed off the balcony. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. You say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. What's this? Brewing potions? No. Booze from potato peels. Hmm. For my welcome back feast? Actually, more like my farewell feast. Haven't heard? Madame Sorceress has requested I fortify the phylactery with power from the Circle of Elements. Says it's essential to lifting the curse from that monstrosity of yours. Don't sound too thrilled about all this. I'm not. You know the trek to the Circle's no walk in the park, in more ways than one. Let me go with you. Well, might have more spring in my step with the famous white wolf at my side. So, you ready? No reason to wait. Let's go. Oh, meant to tell you. you. Can't get to the Circle through the mountains. Rockslide blocked the pass last spring. So we approach from the pond side. Like when we did the trial of the medallion? Exactly. Remember the way? Not easily forgotten that. He who returns with his medallion will prove himself worthy and may set off on the path. Vesemir ever hear you impersonate him? <laughs> yeah. Old man can't stand it. Sabola's breach. Still haven't patched it up? Vesemir'd like to. Doesn't bother me though. Not expecting anyone to lay siege and... This way I got a shortcut to the pond. Shame those Salamander assassins didn't punch a few more holes in our walls. Or finish the job and reduce these ruins to rubble. Been thinking. You gonna swim across the pond? No, I got a boat moored there. You know, for fishing. Wow. Never took you for the fishing type. I use bombs. I drop them in and scoop up whatever floats to the surface. Sense.
impressed. How'd you learn them tricks? It's an art. Learned it from this old master down in Zaracania. <sighs> yeah. Save that tale for your next sorceress. Tell me about Vesemir. Things any better between you? Seems so. Old man's dropped the moralizing, and I try not to piss him off too often. Mm -hmm. Working out well? Moderately. Castle's pretty big. Easy to stay out of each other's way. Damn it! I moored it right here, I swear! Line must have come loose. Really? Here I thought the boat untied itself to go for a jaunt on its own. Damn it. In this fog, we'll never... Is there a storm before I arrived? Let me think. Yeah, five days passed. Mm. Wind must have grabbed the sail, tugged the boat off its mooring. Boat drifted into the bushes. Silver. Water hag. Great. Last thing we need. Right. Cave entrance is just opposite. See it? Gotta sail across the pond, go through the cave, climb Troll's head, and we're there. Doesn't seem like such an ordeal now, does it? No. Still gives me the shivers, though. You know only two boys returned from my group? You were the ones who ran into old spear tip in the caverns, right? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Jump in the boat. All right. I'm taking the tiller, though. Because? Because it's my boat, not up for discussion. This boat yourself? Yeah. Something you don't like about it? Besides the water up to our ankles? Nothing. Quit whining. It'll make it across the lake. Provided we don't smash into something first. Barely see the tip of my nose. Fog's thick as curdled milk. Never took you for a poet. Oh, but I am one. Wanna hear a limerick? Sure. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Not bad. Fall off a bit. 
Sales fluttering. Don't teach your grandma to suck eggs. Right, almost there. Ready for the caverns? Almost. Before we go inside. Ugh, drink a dose of cat, I know. Any more words of wisdom? Like, step softly or you'll wake old spear tip? Old spear tip's still down there? Yeah, he is. Unless he's done us a favor and killed over on his own. Could come at us at any moment. How'd the rhyme go? Old spear tip's a deep sleeper. Wake him up and you'll sleep deeper. Come on. Hear that? Sounds like a kid. You know this valley's uninhabited except for us. It's gotta be an illusion. What if it's not? <laughs> Whatever you want to do. You're probably right. Let's go. Straight to the cave. Finally. Something reasonable. is a lone hunter. But even a lone hunter can use a helping hand sometimes. Vesemir. Ready? Oh, you fat fuck. One, two, three. You're no feather either. Come on, let's go. Wall looks a little shaky. Hard, maybe? Mm hmm. And wake old spear tip? What? You afraid? No. I just think, think before I act like that. Relax. I slipped. this moment lasts forever. Good to be back above ground. Mm-hmm. Still trouble ahead. You mean the trolls? They're in for trouble, not us. Don't know who you're trying to impress. Tough guy stuff's just not working on me. <laughs> Look who's talking. Vesemir told me about that job you did for those Nilfgaardians in Velen. What? What are you doing? Killing monsters. <laughs> Good one. Just came out that way. Come on.
place of power should draw from it. Ha! See him shit and run as soon as he saw us? Mm -hmm. Never known a troll to do that. Witness is to walk no more. The stops. Yeah. East Mountain. Trolley Mountain. Troll Mountain. Huh? Oh. Hi! This Troll Mountain. Uh, you talk to these idiots. Stay calm. We just want to get to the circle. Which is this thing one say, thing two do, thing three do, sometime. Ah, uh, enough! Out of my way, dimwits, or I'll grind you to gravel. Understand? <laughs> Understood all right. Congrats. Run for the cave before they stone us to death. Which is his understanding? We understand it, but we still gotta get to the Circle of Elements. Listen, but we. Trolls come know to which you see castle. Rock Slotzler. Let him rock. Enjoying this little chat? Cause uh, it's not getting us anywhere. I'm talking. Fact is, you know as much about negotiating as they do about grammar. We're not here to hurt you. We don't want to touch your rocks. Just let us pass. Try rock, throw. Witches he strike no back. Just talky talky. Witcher, good? Over you. Witcher it is monster kills trolls monsters. Yes, true is. No face, mate. Um, we do go this. You shall back up leave here. You pass. No grease. We smash. All right. We'll leave our swords here. Pick them up on the way back. We want to know. <sighs> Thick metal mouth thing. You nuts? Shut up and follow my lead. I think you might have missed your calling. <laughs> if I remember Pappy Vesemir's lessons correctly, witchers kill monsters. Your memory's shit. They only kill harmful monsters. Well, we made it. No denying that. Damn. Beautiful view. Must be if you noticed it. Geralt, who do you take me for? Let me think. A sourpuss? <laughs> Fair enough. But save the rest of your compliments for later. Let's get to work. Remember how this circle works? Been a while since I activated my medallion here. It's fine, old man. No need to make excuses. Light the torches and place the phylactery on the altar. I'll handle the rest. How 
how'd it go? Water, then earth, then air? Geralt? in place then all we got to do is wait the container will absorb the power of the elements while we catch a breather so how'd you deal with the trolls when you passed the trial of the medallion let me think oh uh, yeah used axie but i only had to get past one troll other two were busy yeah useful sign axie Saved my life a short while ago. Sense a good story coming. One of the best. A couple of road robbers stopped me. One pointed a crossbow at me, and the other started rummaging through my satchel. I made the man with the crossbow shoot his friend, and then hang himself. Wow. Truly great story. Isn't it? Real side splitter, I think. Tell me, you always been such a cynical bastard? No. I was adorable before Vesemir brought me to Kaer Morhen. We all went through it. That's just it. Not everyone made it. Lots of boys died here. Boys taken against their will. It was our destiny. Destiny? Let me tell you about destiny. My dad was a drunk. He'd knock a few back, then beat me and mom bloody. We prayed for his death every night. One day our prayers were almost answered. Dad lost his way coming home from the tavern, walked smack into a nest of neckers. But some witcher saved him. Know what he wanted in return? Give me the first thing you see when you get home. My life. For the life of that prick? I say fuck that kind of destiny. Know what? Let's get out of here. Don't like what you're hearing, huh? Witchers shouldn't talk like that. Know what else you won't like? After the trial of the medallion, I rode straight home to thank my daddy for everything. Want to hear what I did to him? Lambert, please. Thought we were opening up, having an honest talk. But fine, let's continue pretending everything's just peachy. The road beckons, my good man. Our companions await. Need to get our swords. But you with no swords like a man without an arm. Sure thing, brother. Witches is his sharp back club takes and home goes. Mm hmm. Don't worry. I don't need convincing. Come on, Gerald. Let's go. Right. Let's get back. After you, sir. <laughs> 